So how do you turn these into these? Today we're excited to partner with Bright Products to bring you a new tutorial on rock painting, and more specifically, superhero characters. This will be mostly for beginners or anyone new to rock painting, but we'll also showcase some intermediate and advanced options. To help, we're lucky to have with us the lovely Christy and our special guest, Naylin. So let's get started. A good place to begin is to clean your rocks with warm water. Be sure to scrub off all the dirt and dust as paint doesn't stick to the surfaces all too well. Our next step is to paint the rocks a solid color that relates to whatever character you have in mind to produce. We'll be using acrylic water-based paints similar to those available in Bright Products rock painting kits. Give your rock at least two coats of paint if you want it to appear vibrant and opaque. Some colors go on thicker than others, so they may require more layers. As all rocks are shaped differently, choose rocks that complement the type of character or creature you intend to create. To get started, you'll need some additional supplies. Water to rinse your brush when switching colors, paper towels to clean up any spills, scissors, a pencil, crayon, or marker to draw out your characters. All right, you ready? All right, so we're gonna stop with his fedora hat here. So we'll just do a line straight across like that. And then another line straight across right above it. And another line straight across. This one will be a little shorter as your rock curves. We'll connect these sides down like that. And then connect these sides over on the edges of your rock like that. And remember, we're gonna paint this, so whatever you draw is not final, it can be painted over. And a line across the top like that. All right, and then we'll draw the Count's face. So down where the angle of the hat comes down, just draw a little circle around on both sides, connecting the rock. That's good. And draw a little nose here. Remember, there's gonna be a mask across this section, so we'll kind of leave that a little bit open. And then he's got the little whiskers here, little mustache, little mustache, and we'll turn into a goatee, a little mustache at the bottom, just like that. You can do a little triangle here for the opening in the collar. All right, and then we'll find his waistline here, so just a line across for his belt down, on each side, down. Good job. And then they've got those puffy white shirts. Kind of flare out like a pirate. Okay, you got that? And then we bring his body out with these two lines on the sides. And then just like the archer, the feather man, or whatever we want to call the other one, we'll bring his legs down here, connect at the bottom around the edge, draw a line through the middle to separate his legs, and finish with the lines of the boots. And of course, this guy will use some of the accessories to add the cape, the mask, and the googly eyes, uh, as long as it'll along with the weapons and the uh, pieces of felt, etc. So, that looks really good. Good job, Naylin. Proud of you, buddy. All right, so, those are our superhero rocks. They are all drawn and ready to paint. All right, let's start with his face. Should we do his face? All right, we're gonna do flesh colored. If you don't have flesh colored, you can Mix colors together, you could use orange with a little bit of white or just whatever colors you have. You can be creative. Right now we're going to paint. 
paint his face. Not his beard. Not his beard. We're going to leave his beard. His goatee. We're not going to give him eyes because we're going to put those on after it's painted. We're going to put nice googly eyes on him. So he's going to look very handsome when he's done. How's yours looking? Oh, yours is looking good. Mine's coming along. I'm going to have to do two coats. I want his face, I don't want the rock to come through on his face, so I'm going to let this dry and do it again. I might have to redo the beard again. Oh, that's okay. Cool thing with painting, you can always fix it. All right. So we're just going to let that dry for a second. I'm going to go do one more coat. Do you want to do another coat on yours, or are you good? Okay. Let me finish this up. All right. It's looking good. All right. I have a face, and you have a face. Let's um, clean our brushes. Perfect, you're ahead of me. Okay, what do you want to do next? You can do his hat, shirt. his shirt. All right, let's do his shirt. Oh, I forgot. We have one more flesh colored. We have his neck to do. And um, so let's do that. Uh, we didn't put hands on him. So let's just do his neck real quick. There we go. Now we got all of his skin on him. Oh, very good. Okay, now we can rinse our brush. Okay, now we're going to do the shirt. All right, we're going to do the shirt white so it stands apart from his skin. But you can give him whatever color shirt you want. We're going to do white, but you can do a blue or brown or hot pink if you wanted. Yeah, red would be cool. All right, getting close. You can even uh, mix brown and white together to make like a cream colored shirt if you wanted to get fancy. There's no end painting. Possibilities are endless. All right, oh, yours is looking good. You're faster than I am. I like to leave some of the um, black lines just so I can see I what I'm doing. And you don't have to. It's just a preference. All right, I'm just cleaning up my shirt. Sure, he yeah, looks nice and pretty. I can still see the nose. Yep. Once the paint dries too, uh, it, the paint gets a little lighter. So sometimes the rock will start showing through. And if you don't like that, just paint another coat. If you don't mind, you can go ahead and leave it. Okay, we have a shirt. Anything else? All right. What do you want to do next? Uh, pants. All right. Belt. Should we, belt. His belt. All right. Let's do red. Should we do a red belt? Yeah. All right. Let's do a red belt. Bright, bright red. We're going to go right along his waist. Perfect. How's yours looking? Oh, very good. All right. And I think we should do this little band on his hat the same color. Because red looks awesome on this dude. We're going to make him pop. 
Let's see. And if you go out of the lines a little bit, no problem. You can always let it dry and then paint right over it. I'm gonna do another layer on the lid. And the nice thing about acrylics is they dry pretty fast. So you don't have to wait too long. The thicker you put the paint on though, the longer it will take to dry. All right, how's yours looking? Oh, fantastic. All right, what should we do next? Uh, the rest of his hat. Should we do his black cap? All right, yeah. let's do black. All right, we're gonna do the top part of his hat. And again, if you don't want a black hat, that's just fine with me. You can make it whatever color you want. We're gonna do his rim. Oh, his hat is looking good. The lid wasn't fully dried, so it mixed with the black. Oh, that's cool. You can do a lot of pretty cool things with paints and mixing paints and letting them run together sometimes. All right. How's your hat looking? Oh, very good. Should we give him... You want to do another layer of black? Make sure his hat is really black. Oh, we'll come back and do his face after it's dry. Okay. I think my hat's good. Should we give him black boots, too? All right, I'm going to... Are you ready? I'll wait for you. Oh, that's a cool hat. Okay, should we do his boots? All right, let's do his boots black too. Another thing about painting rocks is if you go on walks or hikes, it's fun to hide the rocks and let people find them or you go find them um, at a different time. It's kind of a fun surprise. Or you can put them in your bedroom. There's a lot you can do with rocks. All right. Oops. All right, should we do, I guess the only thing left to do are his pants. So we're gonna do this gray. Since we didn't have gray, we're just going to take some black. Yeah. The gray kind of dry from the other. Yeah. And we're going to put some, and get a clean brush for the white. We're going to add some white. All right. Here's some gray. And if you don't want to mix colors, you can just paint them whatever color you want. You can have Blue pants. All right, let's do gray. I'm gonna start doing gray. All right, I think that's a pretty good um, little man we created, our count. Okay, we have a few different accessories that we're gonna put on our Zorro character. Yeah. And if you buy the Bright products, the rock painting kit, it comes with all of this so you don't have to find it. Um, or you can use whatever is around your house too. You can be as creative as you want with these. So we have these capes that we're going to use. We also have masks. This cape is flying on. So we each have a mask. Which one's bigger? I'm going to take the longer one since your, your rock is a little bit smaller than mine. And we have these weapons. Okay, you I get to pick sword. a weapon. I you want, want a sword? 
Okay, so you can pick which weapon you want. Can I pick two? Uh, let's do one sword. I will pick this thing. That's a shovel, I think. A shovel? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go with a shovel then. Okay, and then we also need, um, once we put his mask on, we're going to give him some eyes. So we're going to have googly eyes as well. Mm -hmm. So we we'll give look, you your googly eyes. It might look a little weird. Yeah, oh, it's going to look funny, <laughs> but cool at the same time. All right, so what should we do first? Should we... I want to have him hold him. You want him to have, oh, hold his yeah. uh, sword? Okay. Oh, and I think with this guy, um, I think we should give him a little bit of glitter. What do you think about glitter? Uh, on his shirt or belt? Uh, probably his belt and his hat. We're going to do red. Does that sound good? Or should we do it like my brother and put it like... You can put it wherever you want. You can do, or if you have a silver pen or silver glitter, you can do it all over his pants or his shirt. You can go glitter crazy if you want to. For this, since he has so many accessories, we'll just stick with red glitter. So let, first thing, the easiest thing to do would probably be his um, mask. So we're going to get glue. And again, you can get any type of craft glue. So, we have our rock painting characters. Didn't Christy and Aylan do a great job? Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you can do it your own way. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Until next time, take care. <laughs>